Hello and welcome back. I'm Mal and this is Wasteland 2. So when we left off, we had just finished off going to uh, High Pool, getting our reward uh, for killing some uh, wreckers at their stronghold. And now I've uh, I've taken the group and headed through the wastelands up to the Rail Nomad camp. En route, however, we've got this option for this random encounter. Looks like with wreckers. So we can attack, or we can run, because we do have outdoorsman skill. We're going to go ahead and fight. I don't see any reason not to do that. There we go. Let's see. What happened here? Hmm. Okay. Luger. Or lugger. <laughs> A luggler. Okay, take that. That. Some kind of caravan that was attacked, I guess? Huh. It doesn't look like there's anyone for us to fight. It's just a... Kind of a random deal. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, not cool that all these people died, but... An RPG and lightweight body armor? Seriously? What else? Okay. Well, that was pretty sweet. I wonder if this is a random encounter that's like... It is random, but isn't from the standpoint of at some point it's supposed to happen. This is so weird, too, because I was looking at one of the characters. I think it was Cold Eye that I was looking at that still had points to spend. And I was like, maybe I should get some AT weapon skill. And I was like, eh, no reason to. I haven't picked up any AT weapons. But now, I don't know. Maybe I should. Let's see. If you got one point in it. Jeez, really? You only have a 38% chance to hit? It's not exactly, exactly something you want to miss with. Hmm. But one point in assault rifles, and he gets 63%. Okay. So is anti-tank weapons just much more complicated, or based on a different stat? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well. Okay. Got plenty of ammo for her, that's for sure. Lightweight body armor, plus one armor. Uh, I'm going to give that to Stafford, actually, because it makes sense. He gets up close and personal, and we need him to live, right, if... What's the problem? Does it go here? Yeah, okay. Can you actually see it when you put it on? No. Huh, well, that's okay. So I wonder, does armor just reduce the damage by one, then? Any damage taken? I wonder how it works. I know he looks cool. I know that much. All right. <laughs> what kind of damage does this thing do? Three to seven with a 13% base crit. To nine. 
Base chance to hit. Base chance to hit the same. Luger's got a, or whatever, Lugler. He's got a better range. By how much? Two. Hmm. Well, we'll just hold on to him for now. Let's go over here and fill up our water. Okay, let's take a look. We're going here. Oh, we're trying to. Okay. Now we've got to find the edge of this because obviously we can't go through radiation. We do have some, I think, some radiation pills, don't we? Radiation treatment. Yeah, it removes radiation effects. The problem is we've only got two packs of that, so... Okay, I can't get up there. Let's come back the other way. See if we can get around this thing. Jeez. How far is this radiation wall? Okay. So I can pass through it, but then... Hmm. We're taking radi rads just sitting here, so let's, let's back off here. Let me look at the map. So it's straight up there. Okay. Let's go back to the oasis. Come on. Go back to the oasis. Dangerous raiders approaching. All right. We'll fight you. Experience. Oh, okay. That's a lot of them. Rangers, help us. Okay. We will. Give us a second here. Gotta watch where we're shooting. Okay, let's back here. Okay. Alright, alright. Does she have Hold on, does she have another effect? Uh, yep, bleeding wound. Okay, I'll have to fix that. Mm, who's next? She is. Okay, so let's fix Vulture. What? Oh, I ran to the wrong one. Uh, darn it. Okay. Fix her. Hello, what's the problem? Bandage? Bandage her. There we go. Now she needs to move. Now, oh, switch weapons. Um, this one's really the threat, so I need to move. Ugh, this sucks. You know what? We'll move. Actually, I've got a decent <gasps> shot here. I'll take this shot. And then move up one. Yeah. Let's take this guy. Really? Let's try to take this guy out. Nice! That was cool. 
Can we switch? Stick this guy out with the knife. Nice. Can we take this guy out? Yeah. She. Oh, she's just hurt. Okay. Hello there. How about. How about a shotgun snack? Uh huh. Oh, you like that? <laughs> Four percent chance. I don't want to hurt my own guy, though. Yeah, it should be okay. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's switch. Actually, no. I don't want to do that. Let's. Let's move here. And take a shot from here. There we go. Nice. Good experience. Switch. Switch everyone's weapons back. Highlight everyone, reload. Okay. So we don't get to talk to these people or anything afterwards? Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Thanks. Sure, you're welcome, but we're taking all the stuff. Oh, yeah. Did that say machete? Uh-huh. That's right. Hold on. 30 at 6 rounds. Go to... No, I don't go to Stafford. Go to Cold Eye. Buckshot goes to Stafford. Bandages to Stafford. Energy cells stay here. Um, give that to Cold Eye, I guess. And then bladed weapons. Okay, so for sure we're gonna give one Cold Eye. No, I guess I gave both to Cold Eye, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Let's equip one. It does two to nine. And what's the combat knife do? Five to eight. So that's the next best weapon. So, hold on. Let's see if there's anything else here to loot. And if not, we'll leave the area. I'd like to know what that, like, random water noise is or whatever it is in the background. There's... Oh, it's just another exit. Okay. see anything else to loot. Alright, let's go back up here. Yeah, let's exit. For whatever the reason, so I don't have to listen to the, like, I don't know what that is, water noise or something. Okay, now, ammunition, spread that out to the right people. Two grenades now, huh? Hmm. This can be broken up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, darn it. Haze Blaster. Here we go. RPG weapon. I'm going to give that to Cold Eye as well. Nine pain relievers? I'll spread those out later. Okay, so he's got a machete. Um, we need to give this machete to someone else. Let's see. She's got bladed weapons. And she has bladed weapons. Okay. Who has the next best chance to hit? Hmm. 
I guess I'll give it to Ash. Yeah. Let's do that. Shetty, give it to Ash. There we go. And then the combat knife, I guess we'll give to Vulture. Yeah, sure. Well, that's fine. Let's go over here and refill up our water. And then I guess I guess I'm just gonna go through here and hmm because it won't let you go up this side over here. All right, we're, we're gonna just try to go through it. Oh. Now the question is, do we have radiation sickness? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Looks like we just took a took damage from it. I don't see any conditions. Hmm. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't say anything. All right, well, we'll operate under the thought process that we're not going to drop dead of radiation poisoning for now. <laughs> uh, let's hope not anyway. Hey, it's all about exploration, right? So if that wasn't the best way to get to the real nomad camp, I'm sure someone will tell me. This is Libby Parker. If anybody's seen my Ralphie, tell him to get his butt home. He didn't finish his chores this morning. Copy, Echo One. Okay. Ralphie didn't finish his chores this morning, huh? Alright. Well, everyone's hurt a little bit, so... I think maybe I will distribute those painkillers after all, so let's do this. Here, you take one. You take one. Let's give you two. Let's give you two. Does everyone have a decent amount of those now? Yeah, okay, so. Let's let everyone patch themselves up. still pretty hurt okay so she can use another one so can she everyone else looks okay I think yeah they're not hurt that bad all right let's see what do we got over here something to dig up This place is cool because it was kind of a pain to get up here. In the first wasteland, <laughs> I don't know. I guess there was something potentially peaceful you could do in the real nomad camp. I I, I don't know. 
it was the first place that you could get assault rifles, so I just went in there and slaughtered everybody and took their assault rifles. Yeah, I was kind of a bastard. I'll admit it. But I was really, come on, this was 20 years ago, so even I was young when I played the first Wasteland. Whoa, what's going on here? Please, my friend Ralphie's in the lake. Can't swim back to shore. Okay. Please hurry, the lake is this way. Alright. I, I will help. Okay. Where's, where's Ralphie? Ralphie's on the other side of the bridge. Please help him. Okay, I will. We'll do that. Oh, he's drowning. Someone, please, I can't swim. Uh, why are these poles right here? Clean your top off your canteen. Jesse, help. Um, can I... Hey, aha! Uh -huh. It's not this simple, is it? Oh. I guess it is that simple. I killed him. Probably should have knocked over the one that wouldn't kill him. Oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorry, Ralphie. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing at that, but... Here I am thinking I'm Mr. Smarty Pants, because I'm putting this thing down. Okay, so if I had... Just so I know for future playthroughs, if I had knocked down the other one... Let's see. Yeah, that one probably would have been better. <laughs> okay, well, sorry, Rovi. I tried. Canteens have been topped off. Okay. Oh, man. Now I feel really bad. It was an accident, though. I mean, I wasn't trying to kill the kid, obviously. Bastard Rangers. Oh. What's the logbook say? Does it say we're morons? Uh, it doesn't say anything. Oh, yeah, here it is. Saw us near the kid in the lake. Seemed to think it was our fault that he drowned. Great. Rangers, there's more to this job than just jingling your spurs and shooting at lizards. You ought to be ashamed of yourself letting that poor boy drown like that. Now get back to the job at hand. Ranger command out. Aw, oh, that's messed up. Really? I get scolded too? Whatever, Vargas. I don't care what you say. Maybe the, maybe the boy was bad. Yeah, you don't know. Not that he would deserve to die even if he was bad, but... You know what I'm saying. Oh, man. I do feel bad. <laughs> oh, man. Not good. The train station. The jungle, huh? Hmm. What's... Oh, that, that doesn't look good. My leg. I think it's broken. One of those coffee can bombs went off under me. Sob, I think I'm gonna die. Hey, that, no, no, no. I can, I can, I can fix you. Maybe I can do some good here. Fix him, Stafford. Oh, come on. I need a doctor. He is a doctor. Come on. Hmm. What about... Splint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a splint. 
What if I use a splint on him? Well, got four XP, but it doesn't help him, huh? Okay, well. Hmm. Well, eh. You know what? I think what I'll do is I'll I'll tackle going into the going in to talk to these guys on the next episode. So I guess I I hope you liked this one. And if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. As always, I do appreciate your comments and your feedback. And until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.